Okay, now moving on to a feather stitch, which is somewhat similar to a, a loop or chain stitch. So, start from behind and then come over, same height and down. Like that. So you're creating kind of a, a U shape. And then come over. back up again. That and just catch the thread each time. And for a simple feather you just alternate direction. So you go one to the right and then one to the left. This is really for fine fabrics and quite a sturdy thread. So that is a very simple feather stitch. The stitch, which is again is another one that's good for um, borders and bands. So it is pretty much a loop again. So you start um, on your left hand side and then come up to the right and then stitch through. catch hold of the stitch and then you just repeat on the other side so you keep it closed by using the same hole on the other side and just pull the thread under not make a knot so like that You can gradually build up a border using a closed feather stitch. <clears throat> now I'm moving on to a double and triple feather. So again um, you'll find it handy to have two or three guidelines. So you start off like a normal feather stitch on the same level. over. So that's your standard feather stitch like that and for a double or triple you just keep going across and then back. You can do this as many times as you want but two or three looks better and is slightly more stable. So that's your double and triple feather stitch. Now we have a single feather stitch which is close to the feather stitch with the, the closed feather stitch. Again it's another bordering banding stitch. So you come in, bring your needle about half the length of the stitch you want and then across and just catch the thread and that. So it's essentially a slanted feather stitch. So that are four that is even four variations on the feather stitch.